And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft. All right. Well, we are, you know, making some progress. Uh, haven't quite built anything in a, in a little bit because uh, we dug some holes. Yes, we dug some holes. Where are my holes? There they are. We dug one really big one here. Uh, I think this one's like 15 by 15 and then down to bedrock. And this littler one over here is 11 by 11 also down to bedrock because we want to get some void miners going before we sign off uh, for the night and uh, let the server run and process uh, I want to get some void mining going so we have void ore miners uh, and a void resource miner that we want to kickstart now these uh, take a little bit of work to build up so let's get some of this stuff auto crafted and uh, avoid ore miner controller tier one needs litharite tiles and there's your litharite right there so you can actually craft it's the only crystal that you can actually craft uh from the void system because you need it to craft the tier one and the only way to get it uh is to craft it you can't actually mine it in the world uh, so the tier twos require this erodium and that is only gotten from the tier two miner or no, the tier one miner. So you have to let the miner run to get the erodium. Then you build that. Then you get the, then you get the cryonite and then you get the palladium and then you get the ionite. And finally you get the athium. Ooh, that was a big boom. Uh, okay, so we've got some of that, so let's get some litharite blocks since we've got that craft programmed in, and now we can actually craft the tier one miner. Oh, we need uh, a lens. I just, I just want a lens. Give me at L E N S. No, I spelled that wrong. Why am I? How am I? L E N S. Oh, it's not at lens. It's just lens. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Okay. Clear laser lens. That's what I want right here. Now I can do at B O I. Nope. I keep thinking the mod is void or, but it's environmental tech. I don't know why. It's a late night. It's like 2 a.m., so just give me a break. Okay. So there's some interconnects. And there is... Oh, look at that. I've already got black concrete. How fortuitous. <laughs> uh, hello, patterns. I already ran through another 64 patterns. Holy cow. That's a lot of patterns. So that is an interconnect, uh, and that is the connector. Okay, okay, I can't wait that long. I don't know why it's so slow. Okay, let's get all of these in the assemblers. Okay, now we should be able to actually craft a void ore miner. Oh, I need a block of diamond. V I A. Can't believe I don't have those. Auto. Like auto craftable. Mm. That's really strange. Thought for sure I'd have those in there, but apparently not. Oh, I just pushed. I think I was a bunch of torches. I just accidentally shift clicked it. Okay, so there's the clear laser lens. There is the void ore miner. There's a lot of stuff involved with this, so I want to immediately craft it. Uh, let that whole thing grind away do, 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 all the all the things it's already done the next thing we're gonna want is called the assembler yay assembler uh, CRY I want a litharite crystal please so assembler so we're gonna hop down uh, over here and the reason I have this big is because eventually we're going to have like a tier six here. Uh, but we got a ways to go before that. So what else do we need with this? Well, we just kind of slap it with a 
uh, with this. And uh, you see structure frame tier one, that's what we're going for. And it tells you what's the next one is for. So we need 24 structure frame tier ones. Uh, and those will stay up there. I'll just be able to hit T and be able to pull those out. So, uh, so if we do STRU, structure frame tier one, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward craft. And then we're going to want mushroom. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Uh, we're going to also want, if we hit T, so there's the structure frames. We're going to want structure panels. I just added a pattern. Uh, structure frame, structural glass, structure so proud of myself. panel. Yeah, what do you add? Lanterns. Nice. There's the lantern right there. Yay. Yay. So that is the Feral Feral Lantern. That is a lantern that you can place down, and it will just light up an area. Um, it's really cool to watch. Yeah, it just kind of seeks out dark areas in a, in a radius around it, and it pops in a light source, an invisible light source. Really easy. So if we go down here, you'll be able to see them at work. So if you go down, if you look down there, there's just one lantern down, and it lit this whole area up. Really, really works well. Uh, and, and not too expensive maybe medium <laughs> flower likes them so i do um if we look at the recipe really quick lantern no see i didn't click that i just want to hit lantern there it is glowstones and gold and some glass pretty straightforward uh okay so we have uh, structure frame tier one structure panel and if we look we need a laser core and a lens of any type so core oh there's a lot of cores here this is the one we're looking for it has the white stripes around it laser core let's get into the right mindset here okay so that's gray and that's a thing and we're good to go there so there's the laser core and the next thing is laser lens of any type i would recommend when you build this if you're going for a high tier you want a crystal laser lens so if we do lens the one right here crystal laser lens you're going to want any lens with erodium blocks well we don't have any erodium blocks those are the ones we actually need the void miner for so unfortunately, we have to go uh, with the regular old clear lens until we have enough for six blocks of erodium. So, you know, time passes, things are things happen. Uh, do we have any crates? We don't. Uh, we want a large storage. No, do we want large? Might as well. Yeah, might as well. Uh, yeah, those require... Oh, empowered stuff. Empowered oh. stuff. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> to put it, you know, I can go in power stuff. Uh, let's see. Small storage crate, wood casing. I want to do ore dictionary on this. I want it to use any wood. And then this one... Oh, I need... Of course, I need this in here. So now I should be able to do this. Uh, da, da, da. And then medium storage crate. Takes a large with some void crystal. Uh, void crystal blocks. Or we could do a medium crate upgrade. So I think that's a cheaper option to go to for some reason they're vastly cheaper uh, and then there's a medium to large crate uh, which actually requires a large crate so I'm not sure why that's a thing 
Okay, so can we can we craft can we craft a crate really quick? There's a crate. There's my clear lens. Uh, let's look at my numbers again. 24 structure frame tier one. So I need 24 of these. These things get very expensive as you go up in tiers. So just FYI. So there's 24 of those. And then we want 20 structure panels. Pretty straightforward to get those. Bingo. So 20 structure frame, 20 panels, and I think. Oh, two laser cores. Okay. Let's try a ZDR. There we go. Two laser cores. Bingo. So two laser cores, all those. So if we head down here and we pop the bottom off of this and we give this thing a little bit of space. And we can just take this, I think it's right click. Yeah, you just right click this, the assembler, and it builds it for you. Uh, and it's, you know it's done when you actually get a laser coming out the bottom of it. Uh, what, what is not placing? I got a structure panel and a structure frame still. Why is this not placing these? Is there a glitch? It, I've never had this fail, so it might be. Okay, it did place them. Yeah, it must have been a block glitch. When this laser light is on, you know it's working. So it is operational. Of course, it doesn't have any power or anywhere to store stuff. So we're going to just throw a crate next to it. And we're going to grab a good old quantum entangle porter. And we're going to say, you, let's first do the sides. This is items. I don't want any items. Let's not do any items. But I do want energy. So there's some energy and there's the power supply. So now we're actually getting items. So this thing will just sit and very, very slowly mine stuff for us. Very slowly. Um, so yeah, it'll just, <laughs> it's so slow. Um, but we'll, we'll eventually get upgrades and upgrades and upgrades on top of upgrades and eventually really be able to mine fast and we'll be able to mine just thousands of things. So this is sort of the second phase step that you have to go through in order to basically never have to worry about resources again. And I wanted to get this started early because it takes a while to get through uh, and get enough materials to upgrade things and speed things up even more. So I wanted to get that thing on camera. Now there is a need for yet another one of those, only it's not a void miner. Uh, let's do EMV environmental tech. It is the resource miner because we're gonna eventually wanna build upgrades for these. There are speed and, and accuracy modifiers that you can use. And these take a resource called mica, which again is only gotten with the resource miners, only. Um, and you can right away cater the lens to um, get it because you can just build a white lens with uh, some bone meal and uh, you're good to go there. So the the resource miner controller, pretty much the same recipe uh, as our void miner, except I think this block here is different. So almost the same recipe. And we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna build uh, at EMV, environmental tech, 
I want a resource miner. Craft all of those miscellaneous things. Dun, 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 dun. I'm guessing it's going to be about the same size as... So 24, 20, and 2, yeah. So 24 structure frames, uh, 24, or 20 structure panels. So 24 of these, and then 20 panels, and two of those. This is the beauty of having many, many CPUs that I can just craft all this stuff all at once. We want one clear lens that's linked up with some bone meal, which will make it a white lens, and that will gear more towards the mica that we want. And we want a crate. Can we build a medium crate? We are missing void crystal blocks. Oh, so. I got some. Just Ooh. one sec. They're in there. Sweet. Medium crate, void crystal blocks. I don't want to create upgrade. Really? I don't have any wood? I really got to get a sawmill up. Uh, I'm empowering more void crystals. Sweet. Okay. Shift I learned click. good. <laughs> Learn good. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to go, we're going to put this, oh, that was a rubber band and a half. <laughs> so I would like to pull this out a little bit. Same premise as the other one. It's absolutely the same. I think it's good. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a laser, so that is good news. Uh, we're going to want a medium crate on this. Uh, no, I want that on the other side. This side. Because the quantum entanglement border is going to go on this side. Okay, so I would like, again, we're going to set the side config. So we're not going to input any items. I don't want any items going in this. And then set this, and then set this. And this should automatically start pulling in. Now this is going to, the resource miner is just basically like dirt and mycelium and and like 50 different kinds of ice. So it's gonna be just a lot of stuff. Um, and we're only really concerned with the mica. Like that is really the only reason to build a resource miner unless you really love your podzol and you know just go crazy with the podzol then by all means um but uh the, the rule to these is they have to see bedrock that laser has to hit bedrock and i just figure you know as since i'm digging down you might as well you know make a big cavern for it you know it is mining for us so yeah you can see that let's go check in on the other one Pretty, yeah, medium crate. So we've already got two litherite and uh, these draconium, for some reason, these are bugged. Um, I honestly don't know why. It's it's literally the it's literally the block that it's picking, but for some reason, it 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 bugs itself out. So I don't know why it does that. So we've got a litherite crystal, which is not anything that we want. We actually wanted a rhodium is what we're really going for in here. So yeah, we've got two pages to go and I'm hopeful that uh, we get some good stuff and you will get blocks that you can't actually do anything with. So you'll get iridium, uh, you'll get uh, ooh, dimensional shard ore. That's actually awesome that we get that uh, right away. Uh, but you also get like mana infused and there's a couple other ores that there's you really have no use for but you'll get them anyway so might as well might as well enjoy it while you can <sighs> so yeah that is the basics of the void miner we've got a lot of time to go 
before this is even remotely ready to upgrade. I mean, it it's the tier ones and and you know the bottom tiers are really 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 slow. Um, surprisingly, we don't have no we don't have any ice. So yeah, you'll get all of the basic building blocks, and you'll get every color of terracotta, and you'll get every kind of chiseled ice, which is weird, but it you do get it. Um, but you'll also get mica and netherrack and soul sand and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, that is the void miner, and I just wanted to get this thing up and running again before we um, before we signed off for the night, just to uh, allow a few days between recording sessions to to build up these resources. Since we've got ample amounts of power, we have no problems with power, and our Yalorium supply is, uh, I'm guessing, pretty healthy. Yes, we've got 20,000. Uh, how's our cyanite? Ooh, we got, ooh, we got a lot of cyanite. We could actually build the other two turbines on this. Uh, and I'm going to probably want to do that as soon as I start upgrading the, the void miners, because... They start taking a good, healthy amount of power. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna put the assembler up here. I'm gonna put this away. Put this away. Clean up my inventory. So when I log in again, uh, it'll be a little bit nicer. But yeah, we got a little bit of building work to do as well. Uh, I haven't really touched this since the last episode. We've been down digging. So yeah, this whole. This whole process is ready to begin for this, this gigantic building project here. But that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.